help explain this to Abu Bakr. So good morning, everyone. It's uh, 27th of September. So it's been more than three months since we've gotten to know each other. Everyone's applications came in in June and we're getting close to the end. So it's lovely to be in last day of week 12. Somebody told me today that they're going to be missing Abu Bakr's um, sending out challenges every week. So Abu Bakr, maybe you can send out Sudoku crossword puzzles. I don't know. You can send them pictures. They need to figure out what it is. They can try and interpret your dance moves. There are some fan you have some fans out there, Abu Bakr, and they want to see what you're going to put out there. So just letting you know. Um, oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, are you going to be sending people stuff? Are you putting out a Sudoku list? I'm I'm not sure. I mean, if you organize it, I'll send it. If I organize it, okay, I'll create a Telegram group for you. How's that? <laughs> All right. You need more organization than that. I, yeah, I already. Yeah. I I already have Hadi on the alumni group, so I have to deal with him. So I can only deal with one one bout of Nigerian sarcasm at a time. You'll be fine, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so schedule for the week has been updated. Uh, everyone have a look there. So challenge has been launched. It's a short, short week. Uh, interim's on Tuesday. And um, so interim is on Tuesday. And we have uh, the final on Thursday. Uh, AMA today is going to be Azaria. Tomorrow is going to be Abu Bakr. And I understand that Yevabel is already gone. So, um, yeah, we won't have them again. So, Yatiana will be in touch um, with other AMAs. But today is Azaria. Today we have a guest talk, 2 p.m. UTC, from Stephanie, batch three. She was working for a Nigerian uh, Know Your Customer firm, and she's now working as data engineer for Safaricom. So the Kenyans will obviously know Safaricom. Everyone else is one of the largest telcos uh, in Africa and sort of the founder of, uh, let's say, large-scale mobile money, if not mobile money, with M-Pesa. So, yeah, she's going to be up today at 2 p.m. So be ready to ask all sorts of practical, non-practical questions. Um, yeah, fully open discussion today, 2 p.m. UTC. Um, other announcements for the week. So Friday is going to be two things. Friday in the morning, we're going to be putting out a survey. We need to learn and we want to learn how we could do better, what went well, what didn't go well. And so surveys are may, may or may not be annoying. I don't know, but we really, really, really need the information. So we're going to be asking everyone to do it. We're going to be putting together a live session um, just so that uh, we make sure that everyone sits down together and completes it. We're going to be doing it before the graduation. And then the graduation, really, we really want everyone to be there. We've worked hard together. A uh, few of us have ever met, but it's an opportunity to celebrate. Last year's was good. Um, this year's will be good. It'll be a chance to celebrate. Yetiana's uh, project managing this, and she'll be in touch to ask some people to speak. Uh, we're going to ask for a class speaker. We're going to ask you to nominate someone to speak on your behalf. But more than that, an opportunity for anyone who wants to say a few words, who wants to present something. Maybe there's some cultural traditions which are important to you in terms of how do you celebrate an accomplishment. Happy to bring all those together on Thursday. Um, so that's uh, there. Uh, in terms of burnout, um, I know we're getting close to the end and it's the last week. And so I hope that people, it's expected that everyone is tired. Um, hopefully nobody's getting to the point where they're so tired that they're sort of becoming unproductive. So you guys are pretty young. Um, so if you're burning out now, it's a sign that you should be thinking through what you do differently next time. So my advice to everybody who's feeling tired is to reflect, um, think about what's not going so well, um, and what would you do differently next time? Because more than likely, you will be at this point again in the future. And so you should be thinking through uh, some lessons for how could you have managed your time better? What should you have said no to? Should you have rather uh, slept on time instead of trying to stay up all night and just get something done? Um, being ready to work through for the long term because all of you have uh, a lot of stuff that you need to get done in life. And so even though we've been trying to uh, have people drink through a fire hose, um, it's important to be able to manage yourself. That's probably one of the most important things. So yeah, that's. Uh, I don't know if anyone wants to say a word on that. Maybe somebody who had a difficult time earlier in the training. Uh, if anyone wants to say a word on that, just put your hand up.
Okay. Um, so I have two, one major question and one uh, happy announcement. So my major question to you, <clears throat> and I would love for people to type it either here or in Rocket Chat, is to know what other resources can we provide you to get you ready for day two, month two, and year two of work. So as you go out into the world of work, um, and this goes back to the asking, asking good questions, it would be great to hear from people, and I think we can use the career questions channel in Rocket Chat. You can also type it here and there, uh, just so we have a record. What resources can we provide you to help get you ready? What questions do you have? They could be big, they could be small. Um, you might think that they're silly, but we've talked about this question asking format, and asking more questions is uh, super important. So, yeah, I, I would love to hear those. Um, especially in the career questions channel. Important for me to do that. Um, people have been asking what's coming up next in terms of how's the group going to look. So we are going to do two things. One is on Friday, we're going to open up the alumni group to all of you. Um, so we're going to use Telegram. We've thought about different channels, but Telegram is maybe not the most beautiful, but it is among the most effective. So they're going to be, there's going to be the overall 10 Academy alumni group, batches one to four, and that's a place to really show um, to showcase and to share um, jobs and questions, resources, ideas. And so it's going to be an open, free-flowing Telegram group. That's the alumni group. But we're also, we recognize that Rocket Chat is unlikely to be used after Thursday. So we're going to be creating a batch for a Telegram group as well. And that's a place for things which are just related to batch four. I don't know exactly what those things will be. Um, I will personally use that to try and keep in touch in terms of job opportunities or asking people to post different things. So things that are only related to batch four, we're going to pivot to a Telegram group. Um, we'll be dropping the link on that during the week. Um, and on Friday during the graduation, we'll open up the alumni group to everyone here. So any questions there? I know it's a lot of stuff. Any questions there? Anyone want to say something? Chikinda is saying he's enjoying the guest talks. Yeah, um, so what we will probably try and do is make all future guest talks also open to all of the alumni, and we'll post it in the alumni group. So Jakinda, if you can put that in the career questions, just so we keep a record for that, that would be great. Any other thoughts, reflections on the week, what's coming up next on burnout? No? Okay. Um, so I'm happy announcement. We have our first job offer within the batch. So Daniel has an offer. Um, and so Daniel's offer was came through his profile, which is posted on the website. And somebody that we know scrolled through the profiles, saw the work that he did, and invited him for an interview. And he's been through the interview process. I think he's been through three interviews. So I think we should celebrate our first uh, job offer. Um, still waiting. I think, believe he's still waiting for the paperwork. But it's great to see that, um, yeah, we have our, even if interviews are starting to come through, we have a lot of companies that we're talking to, and each and every company is super slow because it's hard to interview. But uh, yeah, Daniel Zalalem has been through the process. I don't think it's related to his, um, how similar he looks to DJ Khaled, um, famous producer. But yeah, it's really good news for us. And what I, what I found very interesting is that uh, this employer, um, selected him purely on the basis of um, the profile that he had put up. And so showcasing all of the work, and I believe this person uh, went carefully through um, his GitHub code and the different projects that he had done. And there was a lot of prep work that had to be done. But yeah, we've gone from, I think the step from zero to one is a big one. Um, and now we have to go from one to 47. So Daniel is not here. Um, as far as I can see. Yeah, so that's that's the announcement that uh, I wanted to make. So let's go into our daily stand-up. Um, yeah, so let's hear how everyone is feeling and um, any reflections on last week. So reflections on last week and um, their plan for today. And keeping in mind, we have the Q&A session um, on the weekly challenge today at 11.30 UTC. So, Sam? Good morning, everyone. Morning. Um, 
so reflections on last week uh, i feel like the setting up the environment took the longest time and i think that was the unexpected kind of an interesting thing we needed to figure out how to use all of them together and to be honest the full uh, environment setup wasn't even done until a couple of hours before the last submission uh, the final submission which is not a promising sign another thing is the data despite having worked with it since the beginning of last week i still don't understand it not only that building the dashboard was complicated because i did not understand the data and we can't create insightful visualizations from something you don't understand i think some of my submissions were late uh, last week and i did not submit one of the i think it was the dbt the screenshot of the models i think yeah i did not submit that at all because by the time i got to it i did not have the work done and there was no feasible way of doing it for the submission mm -hmm. hopefully this week will since it's just transitioning the platforms i think it should be e a lot easier because most of the technologies already when we were setting it up initially most of them already were using postgres so we had to transition to mysql instead now just reverting back should be a lot easier and that's the plan for today trying to figure out how the automation works and doing that thank you so quick question for you Sam. before you mute um given that it was difficult and i think finding the right level of challenge versus making it too hard uh, recognizing that we may have to think more about that um but do you feel like within the week you have a clearer view of how all of these different components actually work together yes is Though that, I is feel that like, useful yeah some of them i'm pretty sure i'll use some, at some point in the future as well when the need arises and they did give me an idea of how they simplify the work that they're set out to do and how that can be done mm -hmm. though i i think the use case in which we were using them may not have been the best demonstration of that because okay. on, for example for dbt the data since we did since i didn't have a good understanding of it constructing more complex transformations was not possible the only things we could do is just do a simple merge and i don't think it's in i i don't think that's the best utilization of it and that's not the way to give the best example so there's that and also i don't think that we had enough of an understanding of the platforms to do some of the recommended considerations when doing the tasks because even doing the primary tasks was time consuming with mm -hmm. i would say it's more of a debug session for the week than it was a linear working through it kind of session yeah so maybe okay. that impacts mm -hmm. Okay, that's so feedback well taken. We can think about that for next time. Who would like to go next? So let's get as many people to speak as possible. It's our last chance to practice, uh, last week to practice in the sort of safer environment. So let's get everyone, everyone, as many people as possible should speak. If you haven't, if you haven't been speaking, please put your hand up and just say reflections on last week and your plan for today. Super straightforward. How do you feel about last week? And what do you plan to do today? So we should have a line of hands, even if you're tired. Barakat? 
Yeah. Good morning, everyone. And, Good morning. Uh, yeah, the last week was like there were so many tools that we should understand and work on, and that one is also a big challenge. But the other thing is uh, like when you want to work on on your local on your local machine uh, with the tools that are provided, they need a lot of computing resources like your RAM or yeah, your PC may start like for when you run the whole uh, tools using Docker or something. So you have to wait and hope that it's, your PC doesn't crash or yeah, you will see the output that you want. So that one is also a difficult thing. Like whenever you want to make a change, something is not working and you want to make a change to the pipeline, you need to build Again, so building the pipeline also takes a lot of time, like downloading the image, installing the digital package also takes a lot of time. So I share the same idea, like it's more of like configuring or knowing how to configure the pipeline is more of the work that I have been doing or try to understand, not the real work, like how I can use DBT. Uh, since uh, still I, I don't have a grasp of the data itself, what it is and why we need that data. But uh, yeah, it's more it's more of a, like checking your PC's capacity to what extent it can work and like building pipelines with different tools was the thing. Yeah, thank you. Okay, and your plan for today, Barakat? Uh For today, yeah, like uh, when we uh, when we are configuring the previous one, we're using uh, on the previous project, uh, the default one was Postgres you, when you uh, like to work. So the required task was to, to be done by MySQL. So we have to change that one reverse back to MySQL. Now, Postgres being the default one, it's much easier for that one. But there is a new tool that we need to implement for the dashboard part. So I need to work on that and try to figure out everything that part one. All right, <clears throat> thanks yeah, very and, good. Uh, like other than that, I'm like feeling sad about, about not going to celebrate Moscow uh, because every year, I mean, my family will go to uh, uh, rural areas and celebrate Moscow over there. But this year, I'm the only one <laughs> who left home. So yeah, uh, this will, thank you. Yeah, yeah, it's, um, I don't know, yeah. That's too bad. I, I, I feel your pain, right? Commiserate with you. Um, super. Who wants to go next? So let's get a queue of hands. I, I keep saying the same thing. Um, if all of you want a job, and I think you all do, and all of you will be expected to communicate regularly, everyone should be practicing. So we always have the same people who are talking. So please, I'm going to, so Jakinda, I see you, but let's take somebody who hasn't spoke, doesn't speak regularly. So Saba, Saba, I'm going to ask you. I'm going to call on you. I'm just going to call on people then, because we're not getting the yeah. Saba, mm -hmm. please go ahead. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Morning. Uh, last week I was working on the data engineering, and I try to understand the data, and I implement some of the tasks, and I tried to do the model part, but I didn't finish the dashboard part, and that's what I submit. And for today's challenge, I still didn't read it, but after the stand up, I will understand. I will mm -hmm. read it more. That's my status. Okay. Great. Thank you. Nebiu Neb Samuel. Samuel Nebiu. Let's go to him. Yes. Okay. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Hi. everyone. Yeah. Uh, last week, as Barakat and uh, Sam said, for me, it was also hard. I was having a hard time installing the DBT. I don't know. I, I think I'm the only one I, I was having a hard time running the DBT. I was facing this uh, weird error. But after that, I tried to uh, do it using Postgres. It worked for me that way. Then uh, I was also working on Sunday to uh, get the work done. Yeah. But last week was somehow hard. Uh, and I didn't read uh, this week's task, but I'm planning to read as a stand up. Okay. Okay. 
Great, Toyin. Hi. Morning. Um, last week I think I was the the only issue I had was installing uh the V dash. I was unable to install it, so I could not do the visualization. So. Okay, and what's your plan for today? Um, this week I've not read the document, so I'm going to read it after the stand up and start working. Okay, great. Uh, you? We haven't heard from you in a long time. Hello. Morning. Good morning. Okay. So we yeah, are from my end last week. I was a bit annoyed because I wanted to complete the tasks about the data engineering because that's also my field that I chose. Unfortunately, it was also a uh, final thesis uh, project I had to submit to my university. So I was extremely busy that I didn't submit anything and uh, I'm feeling low about that. But I think I'm trying to do this week. Uh, both of the last week's and this week's task. I think this this week's task is about connected from last week. It's my guess. Mm, it is, yeah. Yes, so yeah, that's my plan for this week. Okay. David Mukuzi. Oh, hello. Morning. Uh, morning, morning. So. I also had a bit of an issue setting up in the environment last week, but I was finally able to do it just before the submission. So hopefully this week I'll be able to do the migration to Postgres. Okay. Yeah. Reflections on last week. So there was a difficulty in setting up, um, setting it up. But how did you find last week's challenge? Uh, last week challenge. The sixth challenge was uh, interesting to me. I think uh, I've not worked with uh, some of the not worked with, worked with some of the technologies. So it was interesting learning about them, especially the BT. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, we'll go to Jakinda and Michael because they put their hands up, and then we'll I'll keep picking on people. Oh, good morning, guys. Morning. Uh, last week was uh, a little bit challenging for myself also i had some issues uh, setting up some tools and stuff like that uh also uh, i didn't i wasn't uh, super pleased of how i uh, did the tasks because uh, i chose that engineering and uh, i didn't deliver properly uh i had uh, a lot of functions family events from friday because uh those are uh, school graduation we had to be there then family and all that. So you, you, uh, I would run away for two hours and do something. Then, and uh, I, I didn't find it very productive. So I'm hoping to like uh, just sit down and maybe redo the the tasks and stuff because I understand uh, last uh, last weeks and this weeks projects are so connected. So if uh, if I don't do last week's project properly, I can't. I won't be able to do this this week's project probably so there's also that so i think i, I have a lot of overflow uh, that uh, i need to to handle and also i'm just finishing the cleanup for my profile also and just uh having everything okay and uh ready to go yeah okay thanks michael michael techler yeah yeah good morning Gar. good morning everyone morning okay yeah, yeah. uh last week i was uh, busy with some personal stuff and i was trying to work uh yeah over time uh, from the previous time that i worked so um yeah i was having problems with setting up uh, some of the tools and like um, the tools were taking too much resource of my pc i don't know i don't know if it's happening to anybody else yeah yeah but especially the airflow like um, I was like, a lot of containers were running, so my PC was uh, crashing down constantly. I faced some problem around that. And also on some of the tools, um, 
Yeah, I didn't utilize them well. That's what I could say, especially DBT. I didn't do a lot of transformation, but like I tried to do some transformation on uh, like some specific data. But um, in general, like it was a hard week for me. Uh, but I tried to meet uh, in the minimal requirement as possible. Um, I did some visualization, but I don't think it's uh, the best analysis that I've done. And it's like, it's just a simple analysis. And uh, I'm not satisfied with my work in general. Um, probably might be because like some of the tools, some of the tools were new for me. And uh, I didn't even consider the setting gap will take too much time. So I was fo focusing on um, like understanding how all of the uh, tools works works in general. So uh, it was a hard week, but yeah, I got some the, uh, the the submissions. Um, and this week, um, probably yeah. And this week, I'm uh, like uh, in previous day I worked on my SQL. So this week, I'm going to like shift to post SQL. So uh, post -way, So. Mm, I think mm, the hardest thing that might uh, be for me uh, uh, would be um, the data. I didn't understand the full data, so probably I'm going to work on that this week and also like automating the full process, shifting to Postgre. Uh, and also I'm going to work on my uh, video, on my profile in addition to that. Um, so I have to change some of the things on my video, so I'm going to work that today too so those are, those are my plans okay great stella uh, hi hi uh, surprise <laughs> i hope you can hear me yeah uh, we can hear you all right last week for me, it was okay. Yeah, it also took time to to set up everything, but it was okay. I was able to finish on time and uh, submitted. So, yeah, today I'll be tired, but not out of uh, out of a project. I I just, I just went cycling yesterday and I overdid it. So now my body is aching, but uh, generally last week was okay. I'm just uh, trying to now migrate from my sequel to Postgres and uh, the other stuff. Yeah. OK, great. Anyone else want to go? Otherwise, I'll redo the announcements, and then we'll hand over to Azaria to know everything about his his uh, present, his past, and his future. Kairat? Good morning. Good morning. Uh, last week was uh, kind of bumpy. I looked forward to completing at least almost all, but it turns out that uh, installations and um, debugging took like the major part of it, which I think I'm a bit settled in on that now. But I'm looking forward to this week because we are doing something similar. Because like I really wanted to like complete that task, and um, since we are doing something similar this week, I could just like keep on implementing and just learning from that. So that was it for me. Last week was, was it. Thank you. Okay, great. Thank you, Kara. Anyone else who wants to anyone else who wants to contribute? No? Last call? Okay, so just recapping the announcements. So we have um, our new last weekly challenge. Uh, interim's due on Tuesday, final's due on Thursday. AMA today is Azari, it's gonna happen right now. We have a guest talk today at 2 p.m. I think it's really important, uh, it's somebody from batch three who's working in industry as a data engineer. And so it's an opera, and she's very open and you can ask her lots of different questions. And so I think it would be, this is already her second job. Um, so it's a good chance to ask her practically what is she doing and what is data engineering and what is it not. Um, on Friday, we're going to have the survey, and we'll announce that oh, the time's already there. We do need everyone's feedback. It will be anonymous, but if we don't learn what we could do differently, it'd be very hard for us to improve. Um, we, I would like everyone to post on the careers questions channel on Rocket Chat 
what else do you need to be ready for, and I'll post this question, what resources can we provide you to be ready for the second day of work, the second month of your work, and the second year of your work? So you should always have this in the back of your mind. We will work together and try and get everyone placed into a good job, but what is it that you need in order to feel ready? Um, we're happy to celebrate our first job. Uh, Daniel Zellem has his first, uh, the first offer in the batch, and it's really good to see that the profile that he put together was uh, what led to this employer only interviewing one person from the batch. Um, I think it was three different interviews. So please do reach out to Daniel, congratulate him, and uh, we expect lots more. Uh, there's, there are interviews happening right now and lots more success coming down. Any questions for me? Otherwise, <clears throat> excuse me, I would hand over to uh, Yatiana and Azaria, and I'm gonna stop the recording.